tachometer problems. Hey, are we Hey everybody, I'm here to talk about tachometer failure on W123, 126, and 116 turbo diesels. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have a 78 to 83 300D, 300SD, 300CD, 300TD turbo diesel, both 116, 126, and all 123 cars up to 1983, you've got one of these and you got one of these. This is the tachometer amplifier. A lot of you are familiar with it if you're watching. You know about putting a penny in between the cap and the amplifier or a quarter if you need a little bit more squeeze and you probably know that these occasionally go bad but if you're doing all these things to the amplifier and you're still getting a funny signal or an intermittent signal or a jumping up and down tachometer one thing you got to look at is the sending unit. The sending unit actually plugs into the plug in the bottom of the amplifier and its job is to transmit the top dead center signal from the engine to the tachometer amp. How does it work? Well, it is a photoelectric sensor. That means that it should have a resistance value of uh, just about zero on it, but you start to see failure with resistance values around 70 ohms or greater. This sensor is totally wiped out because as you can see there are copper windings here and the magnetic base of it has just been destroyed by grease and dirt and engine using grease and dirt to wipe it out. It came from a 210,000 mile 81300SD. This plug though shouldn't be discounted either. It's made of the same plasticky crap that the vacuum lock system plugs are made of and as you can see it wears away and <laughs> all you've got are three pins left and that's it so what do you recommend what do I recommend doing well first of all this cable should be replaced and somewhere on here is a Mercedes part number eh, okay well somewhere on here was a Mercedes part number but this is a dealer only item it's about 87 bucks so it's not that expensive in fact I try it before the amp Getting to this 8mm bolt is a little bit tricky that, that holds it in place, but you need a quarter inch extension that's about a foot and a half long and you need an 8mm socket. Don't use a swivel, don't use a deep socket, just use a basic 8mm quarter inch drive socket and try to, try to lay it down as close to the car's frame as you can to get the right angle on it and trust me you will be able to get at the nut. Getting the nut back on requires standing on the right side of the engine or the front of the engine and jamming your hand down in there and feeding the nut onto the threads. No, it's not easy and it takes some practice, but it is doable. Uh, for, anyway, for the next video, we're going to talk about the 84-85 tachometer and some problems that go on with it. So if you uh, need any more information, hit me up. And in the meantime, keep liking and subscribing. Thanks.